Crooked politics at its worst. A demoralizing, disturbing scheme. The Albuquerque Metro Courthouse construction scam cost taxpayers millions and sent a bevy of politicians and other crooks to prison. One schemer was a former top elected official who implicated himself in a secretly recorded conversation. It is a textbook tale of greed and corruption. And News 13 investigative reporter Larry Barker has it. This is the most important criminal case to issue from a United States District Courthouse in New Mexico since we were granted statehood. Construction of the Bernalillo County Metro Court was just another government building project. But to a small group of corrupt politicians, this was the scene of the crime. Over a five-year period, they looted millions, took kickbacks, and committed fraud and bribery. But it was only a matter of time before the conspirators' illegal game would come to an end. The first to go down, former Metro Court Administrator Toby Martinez. As the FBI closed in, Martinez turned state's evidence and cooperated with agents. Then they went to see Mark Schiff, the architect. Mark Schiff cooperated and provided a substantial amount of information. Schiff's architectural firm designed the new courthouse. The secret to his success? Bribes and kickbacks. More than $900,000 was siphoned off the project. Schiff funneled illegal payoffs into the pockets of both Senator Manny Aragon and Toby Martinez. Mark Schiff told FBI agents his partner in crime was ex-Albuquerque mayor and lobbyist Ken Schultz. According to Schiff, Schultz was the bag man. He secretly delivered envelopes stuffed with cash to other conspirators. You had allegations of criminal wrongdoing on the part of Ken Schultz, but you didn't have the evidence. How do you approach this? Well, it's pretty textbook investigation to try to get somebody on tape admitting what they did. And there was no source better than the mouth of Ken Schultz to talk about what Ken Schultz had done. In exchange for leniency, Mark Schiff agreed to go undercover for the FBI. Schiff arranged to meet Schultz at a Santa Fe hotel. Schultz did not know he was being recorded. And what resulted was a gold mine. Generally, it was a devastating admission of guilt by Ken Schultz of being a co-conspirator in the architectural side of the fraud involved in the Metro court case. Because all the defendants in this case pleaded guilty, there was no trial. And this key evidence has never been made public. Government prosecutors denied a request for the video. News 13 obtained this copy from a confidential source. February 1st, 2006, Schiff met Schultz at the Hotel Santa Fe. Over the next two hours, Ken Schultz bragged about political connections, dirty deals, and Manny Aragon. Didn't he kind of, like, get a lot of money on the Metro Court deal? Yeah. He probably ended up with more than you and I. And Toby was sharing with him. You were paying him. Well, I know. I paid him, you know, campaign contributions. Right. $10,000 in cash that he wanted. What I'm saying is what's been going on with the treasurer and other people has right. not scared Manny. He's still a cash and carry guy. Manny must have taken, I mean, huge money out of Metro Court. I'd say probably 100000 Schiff said he wanted a lucrative state design contract at Highlands University. Lobbyist Schultz said yeah. all it takes There's is no cash way. under the table. With certain jobs, there's only one way you can go if you want. Now, sometimes we can make it look legit. Manny's one of the guys, it's got to be cash. The Highlands deal would be a $12 million contract. And Manny's cut? He'd probably be looking for four million. You're kidding me. No. You're kidding me. No. Out of the architect's fee? That would drop the fee down to like four and a half percent. Yeah. We have a meeting with him. I'm gonna let you do the talking. Right. And look him in the eye and say, look, you know, don't you owe us one, Manny? No. No. Aren't we still friends? Well, aren't we still friends? Okay. Okay. Right. <laughs> I don't want you to say that one. From one side of it, we are in a very good position. Anybody that we have played these games with can't afford to ever point the finger at us. The best I was able to do is get you some contracts so they'll pay the debt. 
or the bribes or whatever you want to call it. I call it debt. That's extortion is what I call it. We can't say that in public. Why? Because we all get in trouble. And then Schultz offered some friendly advice. When it comes to graft, don't always go for the big score. Little B jobs still have little B payoffs. And to some people, little B payoffs are better than none. As it relates to Ken Schultz, is this tape the smoking gun? Absolutely. What did he do? Well, he, uh, by his own admission, took cash to Manny Otagone for Manny Otagone's personal enrichment. That was taxpayer money. He enabled Mark Schiff get a contract by virtue of what was, in essence, a bribe, knowing it to be a bribe. And as he says uh, on the DVD, that's just the way the game is played. But for Ken Schultz, the game was over. In April, the ex-mayor pleaded guilty to federal conspiracy charges. Larry Barker, KRQE News 13. Ken Schultz got five years probation and must pay a share of $591,000 in restitution. Mark Schiff got a year in federal prison. Manny Aragon got five.